the story so far. A request for an on-site inspection has been submitted by a member state to the Director General of the CTBTO. An ambiguous seismic event was detected by the International Monitoring System a few weeks earlier, and Alluvia believed Meridia had detonated an underground nuclear device. An inspection team travels to Meridia with a mandate to investigate an inspection area of 1,000 square kilometers. Using a variety of scientific techniques and sophisticated search logic, they narrow down the search area to two polygons of interest. Both are located in quarries and both have similar features. Blocked access, a pad made of foreign material, conduits emerging from the ground. Moreover, the inspected state party cannot, or will not, answer many questions about either location. The inspection team carried out a detailed investigation of both sites with techniques ranging from subsurface gas sampling to active seismic measurements. The results were compelling and included noble gas measurements of radioactive xenon 131M and 133 and argon 37, often described as smoking gun evidence of a nuclear explosion. Meridia has persistently denied any wrongdoing and insists that the call for on-site inspection was politically motivated. The inspection team have submitted their preliminary findings documents to the Executive Council of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization, who will draw their own conclusions as to whether the treaty has been violated. In the meantime, the leader of the inspection team, Gregor Malik, gives his view of what has happened. You have a lot of indications that there are signatures which are... Yes, but did they detonate a nuclear device? So that's for others to decide. And what about the inspected state party? What do they have to say? Meridia has uh, a number of concerns about what happened at this site itself and uh, Meridia will investigate this further. Uh, we're going to leave this to the Executive Council to consider it and, and we'll be making our case there. How will the Executive Council respond to the report? We'll never know because this was an exercise. So don't come back next time because this is the final video blog from IFE 14. Of course, whether or not a nuclear test has been conducted wasn't the point of the exercise. IFE 14 was to help develop the on-site inspection verification element of the Comprehensive Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. And when the treaty comes into force, on-site inspection will be a very important deterrent to states who might want to develop a nuclear capability. It's just part of the effort to keep the world safe from nuclear annihilation by putting the nuclear genie back in the bottle. And just in case you cannot bear not to know, the people who devised the scenario did intend that Meridia had detonated a nuclear device. Let's hope it never happens in real life.